Welcome back savages to another video. In this video we're going to be setting up a project called PyFee. These are the components you're going to need for this system. So first off, your eyes are not deceiving you, this is an aware element air quality sensor that was used for Planet Watch. Uh, Planet Watch and aware had a really bitter falling out, not really sure which side was to blame, but ultimately this box was used to collect air quality, send it back to Planet Watch and you would be rewarded in Planet Tokens. Well, that project's pretty much in the doldrums right now, so I'm not really going to speak about that project. But this sensor is pretty much being abandoned by the project. But in this project, it looks like it is compatible. So we'll be resurrecting this and using it for PiFi. So that's the first part of it. You need an air quality sensor. So the next piece you're going to need is a Raspberry Pi 4. This is one I've just got lying around. Originally, I was using this for the SC Prime project but they don't like storage providers using Raspberry Pi so I've basically ended up just having this as a redundant piece of kit so that's going to be used for hosting the software for PiFi to communicate with this sensor and the last piece of the puzzle is you need some kind of a GPS device and for this I've got what's called a G mouse this one here G mouse and it's got a USB connection on the end and that'll be connected into the Raspberry Pi and that presumably will be gathering information uh, based on your GPS position etc as well. So these are the three pieces of the puzzle you need for this project. Let's go ahead and set this up. Okay so while we've got the sensor connected up what we need to do is change a little setting in the Aware Element app. So I'm on the app here. What you need to do is go into the um, Aware Plus icon here at the bottom. Once you've gone into that press Aware APIs. That one there and then go to local API at the top and click on enable local API. And you get a little message just saying local API enabled at the bottom. Go back and that's it enabled. That's all you need to do. Um, next thing you need to do just to double check that the local API does indeed work is just go to a web browser on the same network as your aware element find the ip address of the aware element and just enter it in the browser at the top there and you should get a screen like this which just has some local api information here if you've got that that means your api is working so you're good to go with the sensor so the next thing to do is go to the pi fee website and go to downloads so i purchased a software license from here and then once you've done that you can go to the downloads which are here. Now, because we're going to put it on a Raspberry Pi, the one to download is this image here, or you can have an image desktop as well, but I'm just going to go for the light version, which is that one there. So just click on that and download it. Okay, so the next thing to do is put the SD card back into the Raspberry Pi 4 and boot off it. Now, it might take quite a while, but let it boot up, and then eventually you'll get a screen like this. So once you get the Pi desktop, you know it's up and running, then what you need to do is go to a web browser on the same network as your Raspberry Pi 4 and enter this address in the browser pyfi.local colon port 31415 when you do that you should get this web page coming up here so the first thing you'll need to enter is the license key which you'll get from the software license that I bought earlier off their website the email address and password you registered with and then the type of sensor well obviously we've got the aware element so we'll be clicking that one and then what you do after that is click activate so that's all the details entered i've got my license key in there user id and password i've selected the sensor which is the aware element they also ask for the id of the aware sensor and it's on the back of the unit so just enter that in as well and then all you need to do is click activate and then what you should get is a message pop up and says license has been successfully activated at the top there. And that's it. We're good to go. Next up, it should just automatically forward you to the Grafana login page. So log in with the user ID admin and password admin. It should ask you to change your password and you can do that at that stage as well. Once you've done that, you should get this full on dashboard. OK, so once you've got GPS locked at the bottom, what you can do is go to the top there scroll to the top and there's an activate device click on that so in order to get the algorand wallet id you need to install an algorand wallet the best one to install is pero algo wallet and you can just install that from the app store like i've done here 
go ahead and create a brand new account and it'll give you something like 25 random words you need to write down and remember and keep them safe. Once you've done that, you'll get an Algo wallet and you need to just change a couple of options. So you go into settings, scroll all the way down, go into developer settings, node settings and change it from mainnet to testnet. So once you've done that, go again back into settings, go into developer settings, Algorand setup, it'll give you a little box like this where you can say I'm not a robot and do one of these things here. And then what it'll try and do is send five algos to your test wallet. Next thing you need to do is go into your wallet, click on address, copy the address, come out of that, go back into settings, scroll right to the bottom, developer settings, Algorand dispenser, click on the little I'm not a robot thing, it's going to try and deposit five algo into your test wallet. And then what you need to do is just replace the address in there with the one that you've just copied and paste it into there and then click on dispense and then you're good to go. And then the only other thing you need to do is when you go back onto your wallet, grab that address, copy it, send it across to here, enter your Algorand wallet address in here put your email address in here, your password, and click on activate. It's waiting on a lock. And it just says there at the top, device has successfully been activated. So I think that's it, all good to go. So while it's on testnet, what should be happening is every five minutes, I'm told, you should be getting some of these PIP HID tokens. So if you click on the wallet for that one, scroll up and you should see receive and that's how many tokens. And the other thing you can do to see if it's working is to go back to their website and click on Explorer here on the top. And you should get a map of where all the points are around the world. So what you can do is zoom in click on a point, just picked one at random here, and you get the name of it just here on the left. If you click on data, you can sort of get an idea of what the temperature is and humidity. So there you go, savages. Just when you thought the aware element sensor was dead and buried, you can dust it down and use it again on this project. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section below. Otherwise, get yourself along to their Discord and have a look at some of the amazing information they've got on there, including some great setup guides. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and I'll see you savages on the next one.